I did say this was going to get controversial, and I've still got to tell you who I think made the Great Pyramid. But first, look carefully at this Egyptian ankh and then compare it to Tesla's oscillator. Now check out these ancient Egyptian carvings and notice what is it that this mysterious thing is holding. It looks like a wire and a bulb. But get this, in 1934, these three artifacts were found together in one of the pyramids. A ceramic pot, a tube of copper, a rod iron which contained a liquid acid, and all of these combined can be used to create a chemical reaction which produces electricity. Remember earlier how I told you that there was another theory for why there was water beneath the pyramids? Well, these same people who believe that these pyramids are energy sources, they believe that physioelectricity could be controlled by using the water from the Nile that runs beneath these pyramids. Look carefully at these sarcophaguses. These were clearly built into the pyramid as they were so large that you cannot move them. In fact, Egyptian ptologists, they believe that they were bull coffins. But those who believe this same theory say there's no way they were bull coffins. No, these are battery boxes. And in fact, in 2011, when a camera went inside one of these rooms, they found a large copper wire. And these same people claim that the hieroglyphics on the wall were showing some kind of wiring diagram. Whether you buy into these speculations or not, no one can deny that the genius Nikola Tesla was fascinated by the Great Pyramid and its potential to produce limitless energy. He even imitated the structure by building his own electromagnetic pyramid called the Warden Cliff Tower. This utilized the Earth's resonance, creating wireless energy. Tesla even said that he used it to wirelessly transmit pictures and sounds. 